We're still in the morning. Come on, we got a lot to do today. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I will wait for everyone to trickle on in. But in the meantime, today we are working on hair texturizing thinning shears. These. Now, I'll explain in detail how I'm going to sharpen these, as these are not obviously your regular kind of scissor. Um, and I'll show you how we do this on the Jewel Tool. Um, I hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. You guys are truly, truly, truly amazing. As uh, a lot of you guys know, I left early on Friday right after the live show and um, it was my birthday show and a lot of you guys know that not only was it my birthday but also my youngest daughter gr was graduating from UCLA so I had to get home and join the festivities and kind of orchestrate the festivities and it went beautifully and I I shared wi uh, with everybody on my Facebook page um, how it went. We, we had no idea what we were doing. As you know, this whole at home online graduation is something new to everybody. And uh, we made the best of it. And it was really nice and intimate. And as my daughter said, if you guys watched the video, a lot of you guys did. So that was very sweet. She said that the graduation was catered and was specific to my daughter. And it was so heartwarming and I appreciate all your warm kind wishes so I feel like you guys were a part of that celebration and a part of things in my life and I just I have so much uh, gratitude and I'm grateful for every single one of you just so you know love you all okay so oh my people are here Yara they're telling me who is here we have hi Farah Mary how are you and we got Margaret. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Kathy and Debbie. Claire. Hi, Claire. And Martina. and Martina and Karen and Kat. Whoa, these are my people. Keep going. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Serena. How you doing? Yeah, how funny, Serena. Everyone's telling me we just got your warranty registration. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Myra. Bonnie, how you doing, girl? My Bonnie over there. Nancy. Hi, Nancy. You guys. Uh, Robin. Hi, Robin. Welcome, 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 Suni. Welcome. Carolyn. Welcome, Carolyn. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Linda, I love you. I feel like. Hi, Judy. Hey, Judy. We and we got D stars. How you doing on YouTube? Yeah. Wonderful, you guys. Keep them coming. Hey, Holly. How you doing? And we got Wendy, this is on YouTube. We're like, because we're both live on Facebook and YouTube. We have a, we have a new U a YouTube person, C.L. Bach. Why, hello, hello, and welcome to today's show. Oh, they know us. Okay, you know us. Who are you? Type in who you are, because you seem to know all of us. So, uh, you guys, I feel as though I've been talking to you. I've been hearing what you've been up to all weekend long. So, I feel like... Oh, we're all just getting together again. It's just lovely. So today, where's Leslie? Hey, Carol, I was just talking to you. Hi, Carol. Carol, I'll, I'll show you a little bit on that plug shaft, huh? So you guys, if you guys missed my intro, Paula, hi, Paula. Paula just asked, what am I going to go do? What am I doing today? So you guys, today I'm doing something real specific. I am going to be sharpening hair thinning shears. They're, they're considered hair thinning shears. They're also considered, um, what's it called, texturizing shears. But they m they're a very interesting kind of um, blade design. And I'll be showing you guys how you sharpen it on the jewel tool. So whether you have a shape like this, doesn't necessarily have to be a blade. If you have a shape like this and you want to make it crisp and polished, Basically, that's what we're going to do on this scissor. So if you want to learn how to get a nice flat finish and then take that to a beautiful high polish, 
that's technically what we're going to do with the scissor. So to me, it doesn't make a difference to me whether it's a scissor or if this was just like a flat piece of stainless steel, silver, whatever. The whole objective is to make sure it's flat, crisp, lined, and then polished because it has like a curve to it. So those are the techniques you're going to learn today. So like I said, if you don't care about this kind of a scissor, just learn the techniques on how I follow a straight line and get a polished curve out of it. That's wonderful. And then with the rest is... Uh. So, so oh, uh, Nicole Richie said Beans, her daughter, is sad I'm not wearing my crown. You know, Beans, so am I. I kind of got used to that crown. After a while, I forgot that I had it on. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I still have this sucker on? So I'll wear it again, Beans, just for you. We'll, we'll think of an excuse to wear it. It was lots of fun to wear that crown. I'm okay, so you guys, I'm going to get started. Now, listen, you guys, I'll explain all about the scissor, but I'll explain about how to do that edge with the curve. If you have any questions, even if the questions are unrelated to this, just type them in, and I'll answer them after I'm done with this. It'll be really quick. And I have some new products to show you guys. I'll be showing that tomorrow. Um, and show you guys more we got a whole lineup of this week and more to come oh I'm so excited so you guys let's get started is Leslie watching because honestly Leslie lit are you watching because these were for Leslie but if it's not she's not watching it's okay she can watch the replay but I just want you to know that well you know what am I saying I want you to know I know you know I was gonna say well I just want you to know if you guys have any requests I'll do them well duh what do you think I've been doing for the past how many months everything you guys request I do you know what's funny it was so funny everyone oh everyone has been posting amazing stuff you guys however the best is Leslie lit only because it was hilarious she used her heavy-duty grinding wheels the chocolate wheels to grind her dog's chew. So I joked and I called it the, um, we're gonna have a jewel tool uh, for baby uh, for baby edition. So this is the chew. And if you read, she says, with the 36 grit is fabulous. This is my dog's chew. It was so sharp at the top, I couldn't give it to her because it was making her gums bleed. I used the 36 grit down and rounded the top and used the finer one to smooth. Now she can chew it again. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest thing, you guys? So that was cool. thought that was cute. Look at it. I put the little wagging tails. I don't know. This one has the little wagging tails. Okay. And then we have, oh, you guys just kept coming out. Oh, the best. How about this? Remember how I helped Susan Wong Longring? Longering, something like that. But I love you, Susan. Um, help her to polish her Cartier love bracelets. Well, <laughs> look at what she did. And it's funny, if I put the volume on, you can hear me in the background. She was watching me while she was recording these. It's a little blurry, Yara. There you go. So obviously, this one is the one she polished. And that's she has two of them. So that's what it looked like before. And then she's so cute. She posts again today saying... Hashtag I love my jewel tool on her story. <laughs> She's so cute. And then real quick, you guys, Lisa Jacober posted this right now, like just six hours ago, where she took this rough and all the way to a polish and made this beautiful pendant. Look at that. So I just want to give a shout out, but there's more. I can go on forever. But if you guys are watching in, oh, this is another good one. This is our girl, Glenda Moore. She took this, tura, tu, what is it, turret, turritella agate, and she made this right here. At first, she wasn't sure what it was, and then I posted it on, um, but everyone started telling me what it was. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Look, and I wrote killing it, cabbing, everything. So a big shout out to everybody. There's more. But I was going to say that if you are not a part of um, our Jewel Tool group, it's called Jewel Tool Community, I recommend you guys sign up and we'll approve you just like that. So it's really good. They, are, they post the most amazing things. And then it's there. It's 
It's a great community. If you have a question on something and you can't get a hold of me, everyone will jump in and give what you know their opinions and what they use to remedy a situation. So without further ado, you guys, let's do this. You like that little post that says killing it? I love it. You guys are just killing it out there. Oh, I love you all. Okay, so, uh, so when it comes to this, I'll just stay like this. You don't have to go too far. Let me just explain something. When it comes to these, you can zoom in a little, but when it comes to these shears, okay, so you're going to, this is the edge that we're going to sharpen right here, okay? We're not going to do the inside right there. You see it's a little curve. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is sharpen this one edge right here, and as you can see how the light follows, the light doesn't even follow it that perfectly, by the way. You know how I feel about the light following, but whatever. This is factory. So this edge obviously has a curve. And so we're going to sharpen that edge and polish it. Now, if you look closely here, these little, I call them little V-tips, these can be sharpened with a light little hone. Yeah, perfect, Yarrow. But the um, sharpeners through the years have told me not to touch them unless someone has previously sharpened them and they ruined them. So you'd have to resharpen them. But since these are all in good shape, I'm going to leave them as is. But if you wanted to like lightly hone them, I'll show you how to do that when we're working on this. So you guys, you might say, oh, Ani, all she knows is how to polish jewelry and some, you know, knives and scissors and gardening shears and all sorts of things and, you know, metal shears. What does she know about hair thinning shears? Well, I'll tell you what I know, you guys. From all my years of doing all the hardware shows, the woodworking shows, every show, I've met some amazing professional sharpeners along the way. Until this day, I'm friends with them. They have a jewel tool, and they have given me their knowledge on what is needed. That's all you need to know when you're sharpening. You need to know the basics. You need to know what edge you should sharpen, what edge you should not sharpen, and you move on from there. But what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to show you guys how to sharpen these shears using the jewel tool system. So if you guys are in like YouTube, you just stumbled upon this video, know that I'm going to be sharpening these shears on this machine called the jewel tool. And I'll show you how easy it is. So we're going to get started, you guys. So give me... What? Ah, okay. So Myra, I hear about your pits on pearls. I'm gonna get to you in just on uh, just in a bit. So hang in there, Myra. I got you, girl. Okay. So you guys, let's go ahead and get started. So you guys, as you can see, oh, can you zoom in? Yeah. As you can see, Yara will give me a nice little close up. As you can see, you guys, the edge has a curve to it. Do you guys see how it just curves? There you go. It's not perfect like that edge. It doesn't follow the light how I like it. You know, it's, 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 it's yeah, so it's convex. So as you can see, it's like curved like this. You guys see that? So what we're going to do is, since at this point, I just want to sharpen them to cut better. <laughs> and I'm going to use the Trizact abrasives. Now the Trizac abrasives are the ones that look like this. It's got the, the green, the pink, and the blue, and the orange. So out of all of these grades, I'm going to use the very fine, which is a 5 micron. And it's, it's equivalent to a 3,000 grit. But in my opinion, it's finer than a 3,000 grit, you guys, just saying. So one thing I would like to show you guys is when I sharpen, this is very important, is you have to understand that this is not a grinding wheel. This is not sandpaper. This is called 3M Trizac technology, where there's microscopic pyramids that are aligned and made like they micro replicate each one, same height, same size, same everything, so that when they, s uh, I want to say grind, but when they hone, they hone at the same level. So you're never going to have any kind of high and low 
spot. So like with a regular abrasives, you're going to have a high and a low spot because it kind of digs into the metal. Whereas these are going to run completely even. So that's where you have an advantage over other systems because this is not a grinding wheel. Okay, hello. This is Trizac. Take a little look-see here one more time. You guys see that? Okay, see how you see those? So they remain sharp because the corners of the pyramid continuously cut. So that's why these are delicious. I love you. However, this one's lifting a little. Uh oh, it's getting old. Remind me to stay away from this edge. Yeah. It's okay. Go back down. <laughs> yeah. So it's this has kind of seen its fair day, but it's like working so beautifully, you guys. I don't want to replace it, but remind me to stay away from that edge. So what we're gonna do, you guys, is <coughs> I'm gonna darken the very oh wait, wrong one. Hold on. Where's my sharpie? Here it is. I'm gonna darken this with a sh black sharpie. There you go. And then we're going to go ahead and there you go. So right here, you guys, I'm just going to be holding it. And actually, let me do this. Let me bring it down more. So just so you guys see where I am, I'm going to actually bring down the black a little bit more. There you go. So I'm going to bring that black down a little bit more because what I want to do is I want to hold it here, you guys, and roll up to the edge. So once I do that, then I'm going to go straight across. So because I can see what I'm doing, I don't really need a guide because I'm the guide. My eyes are the guide. You know, it's like asking me, can you drive a car with a guide? No, I can see where I'm uh, navigating my wheel. I, I see what's happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off just like I do it with a regular scissor, more at the tip right here. I'm going to go like that a little and roll and then just take it all the way across and drop it. You guys see that? So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got the three inch wheel on. I'm going to run this at high speed. If you are doing this, you guys, with the four inch, oh, I could have done this with the four inch. If this tears, then I'll use the four inch. But if you're going to use the four inch, remember to use it around medium um, highest speed. Okay, so let's get started. There we go. Let's get. Okay. Okay, so you guys look right here. I'm just going to like hold it right there. So I'm mainly in the back right here. And I'm supporting this because it kind of wants to bend. And so what you want to do is just roll. And already we're there. And so you're just going to follow it all. It's not very even, of course. I didn't expect it to be. So just go all the way to where you see the black. There, perfect. Oh, God, it's not even. So we're just going to glide over. So we're just honing right now, you guys. All the way in and drop it. So you guys, can you guys see that? You can see how I kind of like allowed the light to just follow a little bit right there. See that? So I went ahead and cleaned it. So the 5 micron, you guys, is not going to lift up any kind of burr. But if you feel that there is one, I'll show you what to do to get rid of that. Now, remember how I told you guys I'd address these little suckers? Do you guys see this? How these are, let it focus. Yeah, let's just hold on. You guys see how there's like a little V in every single one of these? Now, it's a flat surface. Now, if I wanted to, I can just go over real quick and hone it and then use the green brush to polish. But I think I'm okay with this, you guys. I don't want to mess with it. It still feels very sharp. Um, but other than that, this is the one that has to do, that does a lot of the cutting right here, this is this edge. These are always going to be guide. They're going to poke. They so now we're off with the 5 micron. And that still thing is lifted up. i got to remind myself to change that. Oh, I don't want to. It's so perfect. They actually get better as you use them. So now, now I'm going to take my felt polishing wheel. This is the one that we're going to apply the compound. And you see it's nice and flat. You guys see how even that is. So you guys, I am not going to go in this direction with the wheel. I'm going to try to ear on the side of caution and kind of hold it in this direction and let it go in here. I haven't done this in a while, so let's go ahead and darken that edge. Mm. 
There we go. So I'm going to run this at full speed. And again, if you're using the larger one, run this at medium speed. So give yourself some good compounds. And so we're going to just hold it like right here. Look, you guys. So what we're doing is polishing. So you want to stop at that edge. You guys see that? And you can do this in like a few different increments. You don't have to do this in one shot. Oh, I just polished the name off. Just pay attention, just slowly, you guys. It's not like there's no race to the uh, final ed thing. Just polish it. There you go. And there, that should do it. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that polish. Yep, that's pretty. So let me just wipe any kind of compound that's on it. See how the compound just comes off. Ooh, I think it's going to cut me. Ooh, it's so sharp. Okay, so you guys, you guys see that? See how polished that is? So, so let's go, sh ow, ow, this whole thing is sharp, man. Woo! So let's go ahead and clean up that part. So this is the inside edge. Let me turn off the vacuum. So this is the inside edge. You guys see that? So we didn't affect that edge at all. It's beautiful. So, oh, and it's super sharp. Honestly, it, you guys, it has no burr. But let's say that a little burr did develop. Just say it did, okay? In the event that it did, just take your one, there it goes. Just take your one micron wheel and polish that baby. You really don't need to at this stage, but just in the event that you really want to make sure. And let's say, there you go. And let's say that you had done the teeth, okay? You would actually go like this and clean the burr. Maybe we can even polish it a little bit more. Who knows? You know, and get rid of any kind of burr that's there. Oh, it's so pretty. So let's see, you guys, how this cuts. We've got a nice, look how beautiful that polished edge is. Look at that. Oh, it looks prettier than it was before, honestly. You see how it's following the light a little bit better? Oh, yes. Yeah, it is following the light a little bit better. Nice. Okay, that makes me happy when the light follows you guys. So let's go ahead. I actually have a little mannequin. Now, don't judge. This is a nasty looking hair mannequin. Do not judge. I repeat, do not judge. Do not. Everyone's laughing. Don't laugh at her. They're laughing at you, honey. She doesn't have hair because this is just a whatever. Okay, so look, you guys. So we're going to do a demonstration of if this actually cuts. Okay, that cut. Look, watch this, you guys. That cut beautifully. That's what it should do. Yeah, that's what it does. And it thinned it out. You guys see that? That's a good chunk. It's a sharp little scissor. If I do that more, so this child's not going to have any hair on the head. Let's do a thin section. <gasps> yeah, even the super thin. Look at that. Even the super thin, it cuts. Like, let's say that you just want to take very little, like, look, this very little strand of hair. I'm not a hairdresser, but look at this. That's a chunk of hair right there. Look. Look at that. Yeah, look. <laughs> I, I'm cutting hair. You guys, just call me the hairdresser. You can, can you see that, Yara? It's like in my hand. How can you, can you zoom in? How can you not see this hair? There. It's a chunk of hair. Yeah. How funny as you go. So, anyways, you guys, obviously it cuts hair. Okay, we're going to look at comments while I cut hair. Ooh, this is fun. How about if I keep doing it? What happens? Is this how you do hair? Oh, 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 oh never mind. <laughs> you guys, look at this one. You think it's sharp? I think it's sharp. I don't know about you, but I think this is sharp. <laughs> you know, what... What other video do you see that like sh someone cuts this much hair off of it? This is some sharp scissors, let me tell you. This is way sharper than it was before. Honestly, I actually did I, I bought these for Jolie to cut my dog's hair because I didn't know how to cut dog hair and I wanted to, they told me that if you use like texturizing scissors, it's not obvious if you screw up. So I bought these and I just remember it like it never cut good, like smooth. You see how smooth this is? It's like, it comes off like butter. So 
that's pretty cool so even if you guys want to like use this for like i want to say like like doing this this hi heidi like even i hope you're doing well like oh hold on let me get rid of this hold on how about up here lower oh hold on lower by the floor oh there you go okay let's see look you guys look if i just wanted to use that part that we sharpened look at you can turn these into like freaking shears how awesome is that oh my god it like cleaned it out i want to do this for my hair this is good you guys if you have like wispy bangs and you don't want them to look like this you just go like that <gasps> so this this is so sharp that this turns into um one of those blades like a little razor blade this is called a new I know, right? Kathy goes, she's going to be bald. I know. <laughs> Claire says she's not going out. Oh, not going anywhere, anywhere. Listen, when it comes to showing the proof, you guys, I will just go to any length to show you guys how sharp this little sucker is. There you go. So this is very interesting. I hope, I hope this helped you guys on the hair thinning shears. So... Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to start answering some questions. Listen, because you guys have a lot of questions. Like I, I heard over the weekend, you guys send me messages. So I kind of wanted to take care of this, you guys, for Leslie, because she really wanted to see these. And a lot of people have asked me too, by the way. I've always been asked for these little shears. But if you have any other questions, you guys, um, let me know. And meanwhile, if you're a YouTuber and you just wa stumbled upon my video, so this was sharpened using a jewel tool machine. It's a small little red machine here. And all you do is, if you didn't see, all I did was put that orange disc on that you saw me use. You just put it on, twist it on, and go to town. It runs nice and smooth and even. No, 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 you don't need to. Sh so there, that's all you see. And then if you want larger blades, we have the larger blades, see? They're not blades, the larger discs. Punch cam, so this is a larger disc compared, look at the little size. That also goes on here if you have larger bla uh, larger things that you feel as though you need them, but you really don't, so that, that's that. So anyways, if you wanna find wa more information, you can visit our website at jeweltool.com. Thank you, okay, now, Back to my people. What can I do for you? Myra had a question. She wanted to know how to polish the pearls. Now, Myra, your this is your limit on polishing the pearls. You can grind a pearl down to fit a certain thing with the purple. So remember that, you guys. You can grind a pearl down. I don't know if you guys have seen. Oh, here's a pearl. Here. You can grind a pearl down. Hold on. Okay, so that's fine. So like if you need to grind a pearl down, grab any of your purple, really, honestly, here. I'll, I'll grab the 220 grit. So just so you know, look, let me go ahead and just darken it. So look, hold on, let's grind that down. Yes, yeah, so the pits and the pearl, so that's the grind, okay? Now, if you have pits, oh, it smells so good, you guys. It smells like the like the, the ocean. So, uh, well, I, I just turned it off and couldn't get a whiff. So that's the flat that I just did. That's too close, Yaro says. Oh, it's good? Okay, so I ground that down. Now, listen, if you have pits or anything around the, you can't change this. This is a natural shape of the pearl. Do you guys see that right there? Do you guys see that? So I can't grind that down and repolish it. I don't know, can I? It was organic matter that was built up, but I don't know, you guys, you know me, I always try. So this is my felt wheel. I should clean the edge, but whatever, I'll stay more in the center. So if you want to polish the pearl, this is what you do. So something that is dull like this, where I ground, you just use my jewel tool compound and just hold it there. And you should see a polish come up fairly quickly. You guys see that? Yeah, I don't get a like a shine over it. Yeah. I don't know. Do you guys see the shine? Hold on. I feel like you don't see a shine. 
Oh, you can? Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it says. Okay, so now, listen. So you can polish the pearl like that. But let's say that you have, like, imperfections on the actual area. Like, here's one right there. Do you get, can you guys see that? Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to put a little circle around it. There's a little bit one right there. Do you guys see that? You can see that little imperfection right there? Okay, so you would just take the felt wheel, nothing more. You can't do anything more than the felt, okay? So I'm going to hold it there, and you're going to hold it there. Oh, it's a pit. Oh, it's gone. Did you guys see that? Nice. And let's get rid of the rest. That was like a pit right there, and it went away. You guys see how smooth that is now? Very pretty. Wow, do I have any more? Here's another little scratch right there. What else? Oh, here's another one right here. Here's something that looks like a scratch. Do you guys see this right here? I don't know how well the camera shows, but it's like right here. Let me put a little arrow to it. Hold on. Can you guys see it? It's where I put that little arrow. Yaro, can you see it? Okay, so it's all trial and error, you guys. Try it. If it came out, yay. So let's go ahead and get that little nick out. There, it's gone. I'm going to leave that little arrow there. Yeah, so I'm using the felt wheel with my compound. And look, you guys, that little indentation is now smooth and polished. Isn't that delicious? Yeah, so that's really good, you guys, too. No, I'm trying to see what else. No, you know, no, that's not. That's just my junk. I'm trying to see what else there is. No, I think we're good on the rest of the pearl. Yeah. There's still some like weird stuff over here. The what can be polished? What's a nacre? Oh, the pearl. Mother pearl. Oh, mother of pearl. Yeah, you can. It's so awesome, Margaret. So here's another little impurity. I can feel it with my nail. Look, let's circle it. Mag I swear, Myra, and I'm going to give you another tip right after this. So right here is another one right here. Look at the where the arrow is. That was fast. Okay, so Bonnie, you guys. So you guys, I just want you to know that one of the largest pearl manufacturers they're based in new york but have factories in china and they actually have jewel tools to repair the pearls that come out a little bit of with imper imperfections and so this is what they do so they want it so they have the purple on hand you guys see the purple to grind if they need to put like a little post into for the glue to hold they do that and then they have my felt wheel <coughs> And they have one of my buffs to uh, give it an extra luster. So let me show you guys. So let's go ahead and get that little bit of a divot right out. Do you guys see that? Right there. Yara, can you see that on the monitor? Can you see that little zoom? Wow, okay, hello. Yara says, hang on, it'll focus. Do you see it kind of where I put that little arrow? Yeah, yeah, you can see it? Okay, so watch this, you guys. So right here. Just hold it. Oh, it's gone. You guys see that? Okay, show it right now. Very quick, you guys. Okay, Yaro, what are you doing? Yaro in his Zoom, you guys. Slow. See how it's gone? It's gone, baby. Gone, baby, gone. Okay, so I think you guys can see that it's gone. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to polish the rest of it. Let me get rid of the black. Yeah, so look at you guys. Next time, if we ever get to go like to Tucson or whatever, or, you know, if they're selling like pearls that are inexpensive, 
only because they have some impurities, know that, get that bargain, you guys. Get the bargain. And then this way you can touch it up on your own because they have to sell these at a lower price. And that's what my customer did not want to do. He didn't want to sell his pearls at a lower price. Yeah, isn't this cool, Martina? So w that that's cool. So I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so look, if you have like a buff, let me see, what do I have? Do I have a cleaner buff? Oh, well, I'll just use this one that says compound. This one that says with, co uh, this one that says compound, yes. Oh, how awesome. So if you want an extra luster, thank you, Margaret, for that. The so you can just use your buff to give that extra luster, kind of bring it all together. I just put a very little bit of compound on it, you guys. I love you, Margaret. You're so cute. She goes, no picking on Yaro's camera work. You guys see that? <coughs> and that's it. Save yourself some money. Oh, and there you go. I don't know what it would do here. This is just the natural look. I don't know. Can we smooth that down? You know me. I like to try. So let's try it one more time. So my main objective, you guys, I know this is pushing it, but I want to know what I can do here. Are you guys with me? I kind of want to see what it does to these little ripples. Where am I? Do you guys see those little ripples right here? These are the ripples right here. Let's see if we can smooth those ripples. Oh, uh, Cindy Lee asked the magic buff, does it matter what side is up? No. So I'm going to try to see if I can smooth these. We'll do one half of the other. So let's see if I can smooth them. Yeah, Margaret. Uh, hey, Myra. Myra said that she's been organizing pearls today and set some aside to work on. Myra, I know you have a good pearl collection. I know you do, girl. You go through them and make sure they're perfection. So let's compare the two. Hold on. So this is where I'm trying to smooth down. Let's see if we can smooth it down. Oh, nice. Bonnie said she's going to try to do this on some baroques. Yeah, Bonnie, make sure you do like a before and after, girl. I saw your camera skills. Oh, let me show you. Bonnie did this awesome pave texturizing on this pendant. Bonnie, that looked gorgeous, by the way. So I reposted that. I thought it was beautiful. Hey, you guys. Guess what I did? Something that even shocked me right now, you guys. So. Remember how I said there was ripples here? Let me take some of these lines off right here. Do you guys see these little ripples here? Mainly in this section. Hold on, where am I? Yaro, can you see this? So mainly in this section is where I didn't touch. Okay, so in this section right here is where I touched. So I did, are you listening, Myra? I actually smoothed down the ripples. This is magical. So you guys see those ripples right there? see how deep they are okay so now look at what i did here i am floored you guys honestly you heard me earlier i said oh i don't think you can do that that's a natural composition of the pearl but darn it look at the smooth polish i got rid of the dim uh, the the um the ripples you guys see that so if you guys want to see the difference let me go ahead and just buff this sucker out hold on Watch this. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah. And you know, a lot these dealers that I talk about, they're in Tucson, but they're at the they're at the AGTA show. So look, okay, so you guys can see okay, so you see where this line is? This is those ripples that this side used to look like. So you guys see the ripples here? Let me use my little clicker. This is a nice. 
So right here is the li the little, these are the ripples, and then this is how I got rid of the ripples. Pretty nice, huh? Well, I got rid of it, this, this section right here, that's point the arrow, this section. So all I did, you guys, was to grind this tip down right here where I polished it, you guys, right there. Do you guys see the polish? I used the 220 grit. You can even use a 120 grit depending on how much ceramic to grind. And any of these will grind. You can even use your, um, <coughs> you can even use your chocolate to grind. <laughs> um, but then I used just, I went straight only to my felt wheel with my dual tool polishing compound. That's it. That's all I did, you guys. And then I followed with a clean buff with some compound. That's it. So you guys got to remember, you cannot use this. You can't do this if you have metal on your felt or if you have metal on your buff. Please refrain from such. So you see how I have, Yara, can you zoom back out? Sorry, my hands are kind of. Yeah. So you guys see how I have a set for each? So I have a set for the metal right here, and then I have a set for working on stones. And this, in this scenario, I worked on this pearl. So please don't mix and match. You do not want to get any of this metal on your beautiful pearl. Does that make sense, you guys? All right, good. Lovely. That was fun. Hey, you guys, I learned something right there. That is like nuts. I honestly didn't think it could do this. I didn't think it was going to be able to smooth it down that good. That is nuts. Crazy. So that that's what it looked like before, and I and I polished it all the way here. So this whole area right there, what looked like this, what this whole area right here looks. Oh, zoom in. Oh shoot, I'm not. I'm far out. Here I am talking to myself at this point. So this whole area that has those little ripples, this whole section right here. And then this where the arrow is, is where I took it from here all the way there and smoothed out the ripples. I wonder if I, could, if I went more, if I could get more out, but I actually stopped right here. So this ripple I didn't touch, it was right here. So it was pretty good, you guys, honestly. I'm going to leave this as a before and after. Lovely. And then remember, the marker comes off no problem. Look, you want to take that off? Just real quick, it'll come off within seconds, just so you know. So I'm just going to leave that mark so I know, so Yaro knows where to photo uh, photograph. So right here, what? Right there. And then right here is the ripples. Wow. That's impressive. I'm pretty impressed. There's not a lot that impresses me. So you guys. That's cool. Thanks, Myra, for asking about the pearl. We would never have known this. So you guys see, had Myra not said anything, was I planning on doing a pearl today? No, but I'm here to teach you, and I appreciate you guys listening and wanting to learn because I know you guys spend a lot of money on these, uh, so you know, these beautiful pieces, and not everything is going to be perfect, perfect, perfect. You know, you even buy a cab. It's not as shiny as the jewel tool will give. You know what I mean? You can definitely touch it up and bring it up beautifully. And then remember, if the pearls are not 100% fabulous, buy them because you can fix them on your jewel tool and you can get them for a good price. I wish shows were going on right now because you could just see them up close and tell the guy, oh, these have bad marks all over them. Oh, okay, I give them to you for this price. <laughs> And you go, no, I, I'm, this is not, this not 100%. I need it less. And the guy's like, crap, how am I going to ever get rid of these? Fine, just take them. And you're like, score. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what I mean, what I mean. Okay. Right, Heidi? Heidi said, don't you love it when the teacher discovers something new the Jewel Tool can do? Honestly, the the pearl dealers, the pearl manufacturers, they've only showed me like those small imperfections. You know what I mean? So those are the ones that I've only been really, you know, privy to uh, tackle and find the solution for. 
But never in my wildest imagination did I ever think that those lumps and those waves would get smooth. Like, you guys saw it right before your eyes. I saw it right before my eyes, and I said, what? So something new to add to my little repertoire. Yes, Bonnie. I love you, Bonnie. Bonnie goes, watch out, Mikimoto. We're coming for you. I know. So, you guys, Mikimoto pearls, if you don't know, they're very high-end pearls. Very like, there's not a blemish within miles of any of their pearls. They pride themselves on perfection. And you know what's funny is when my dad did all the custom work for, like, Bailey Banks and Biddle and the Slavic stores, these are all, like, the Zales Corporation stores. Remember back then? Um and my dad used to have Mikimoto pearls. I used to think everyone had Mikimoto pearls when I was little. I'm like, oh, there's another Mikimoto pearl. We have to restrand. Okay, long. Little did I know. Now when I see how much those Mikimoto pearls are, I'm like, gosh. You know, to me, they were just a job. You know, they were just a strand of pearls. But yes, they are perfection. And Mikimoto pearls. If you need a jewel tool, call me. <laughs> no I'm kidding. It's okay. This the other company that I sell this to is a little rival company of Mikimoto Pearls, and they are like I said, they're actually at Tucson. They show in Tucson, and they are, but they're at the AGTA show, the one that you have to have fancy creds to get into and all that. Whatever, that's like the more fancier show. Whatever. Um. So what else? What else questions do we have? Oh, nice. I love it. Myra just posted a picture of her Pomeranian. I love her. Oh, my God. And watching on the iPad. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You are very welcome, sir. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Myra, Myra says Mikimoto used to grind, grind up pearls with... Oh, oh, yes. Mikimoto, I concur. Myra says Mikimoto would grind up pearls with imperfection, like be gone, we don't need them. And they, they could, but because, you know, to be honest with you, I, I, along with everyone else, thought that once a pearl looks the way it does, it's done. There's no if, ands, or buts. The pearl has an imperfection, live with it. You know what I mean? So be it. But up until I met that manufacturer years ago at the JCK Jewelry Show, you know who I'm talking about, Yara, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and it became lovely. So, he, And then he had the booth at the luxury pavilion and would invite me over because the luxury pavilion has lunch for everyone free of charge. And so they would say, they would come to my booth and go, come on, Ani, let's go for lunch. And I'm like, bro, I got a jewel tool demonstration. And they're like, it's okay, come have some lunch. So I would have, sorry, Yara, I got to go for lunch. <laughs> and I go to the fancy luxury pavilions uh, uh, lunch they had this beautiful lunch you guys exclusive to only people who um, uh, who exhibited in the luxury pavilion so anyway so they were at that level um, until they asked me how to do this I could a pearl do it I would never have known nor have I ever polished a pearl before that so and that was a good I want to say Seven years ago, probably, something of that nature. And then that guy, since then, um, I love him to death, but he's retired. But I still communicate with them. Nice. So Robin says she's going to make her new Hadana, Hadanama, Hadanama pearls. Hadanama pearls. Yeah, that's a competitor to Miki Moda. Really? Suni says ground pearls are homeopathic to get rid of scars on skin. You heard it here, guys. Not only is this a jewel tool show, we got homeopathic, we got pearl polishing. What else we got? I'm going to try that. I'm going to grind some pearls. No kidding. Carol, you're so cute. Carol says, uh, aren't you glad your dad was in jewelry and not into like tractors or something? It's true. Honestly. You know what's funny too? Like the same with the Mickey Moto pearls. The same goes for Rolex because those those um, stores that I mentioned, like the Bailey Banks and Biddle, they were all Rolex um, authorized dealers, and so they had Rolexes out, and so they would always bring in Rolexes and stuff through. And I would always hold a Rolex and 
it's okay you got to do this honey you got to polish this got to do this and stuff so i'd grab it and stuff and do it and had no clue the value of it no clue you guys in my opinion i thought everyone could get a rolex <laughs> you know the innocence of a child let me tell you no however i don't have one okay we're good okay you guys so i have a really good lineup this week we're, we're gonna try to do the um <coughs> Um, we're going to try to do the crushed stone in a ring setting. Um, Lori Union has made a ring for me. So we're going to take it through the whole process. So it's a silver ring with a bezel. And I asked her to not finish it on her jewel tool. She's like, but I could do it real quick. I go, yes, I know you can do it really quick, but I could do it really quick and show people. So you guys, the bezel still has the metal around it. So I'm going to take you guys through the whole process and we're going to do um that we're going to crush i don't know what should i crush in the bezel i'm going to crush turquoise and add like silver or copper in it or should i crush a stone i don't know you guys i got to figure something out so i got that la planned out this week and and i'm going to show you guys our new magic buffs the little ones remember i promised you guys this yesterday so you know you guys uh, not yesterday friday friday thursday god bless it i don't even know so you know you guys the magic buff <coughs> this is this is a mini one look at how cute she is so we'll be we'll be putting these up on our website tomorrow but i'll be or maybe later tonight but i'll be demonstrating this tomorrow too so we have a few things lined up this week so i'm excited and i also am going to be getting in some durstin products <coughs> stay tuned Oh, uh, how cute. Yeah, Myra says she used to press her nose up against the windows of Bailey Banks and Biddle and Dream. You know what? I would walk through that store. My dad had an in-house in like South Coast Plaza here in Orange County. My dad was the on-set jeweler for a few years, on-site jeweler. And so I would just trottle in, go into the back room, like as if it was another day at work. And now when I like look back, I'm like, God, like that was kind of cool. So yeah, that now that I look back, I wish I was trying on all those Rolexes and going, um, how much can I get the deal for these Rolexes here? <laughs> but nonetheless, I have plenty of contacts. <coughs> oh, so Suni says that, remember when she said that the crushed pearl would work beautifully if you have scars and whatnot? She says all you do is you crush the pearl and mix it with your moisturizer, your cream, and then you plop it on. I have a scar right here. Where's that scar? I have a, no. I don't know. I don't know where my scar is. I don't know. Somewhere. <laughs> ah, Margaret, I got you. We got, put that down. I got, I actually have a list. You're on my list. It's in my phone. Exacto blades and we hold, oh, and I'm going to show you guys how to distress paper. Just, distress everything. So that's on the list of this week. Yeah. So whatever you can think of too, let me know you. Judy, are you kidding me? Judy, Judy said that she bought a Rolex and at a yard sale and a bag of junk. Judy, you need to send me a pen again. I don't really go to garage sales, so I must. I have to visit one, don't I? Huh? I'll do that. Do who? George Ann. George Ann, I know you came in late, but no worries. We actually did something cool that if you want to watch the replay, besides this, if you see in the beginning, we did the um, these uh, hair cutting shears, these texturizing shears. And if this is no importance to you, fast forward. So this is what we did. You guys see how pretty that came out? Very nice. Look at, see now, do you see how the light follows? The light wasn't following before, people. It was not following before. Just saying, you know how I am about the light following, stones talking to you, you know, woo. <laughs> um, but I was going to say, Jordana, if you want to fast forward, Myra brought up a wonderful point and asked if we can polish the pearls. And we discovered some interesting things of how you can take these lumps and bumps, you see that? And then you can go to those little ripples. We polish those ripples off. Do you guys see that? That is nuts. And you can make them really nice and round as if they didn't exist. 
so pretty, huh? Unbelievable. No ripples. No one likes ripples. Remember, Spanx. No one likes ripples. We like it smooth. <laughs> no, anyways. So, you guys. So, that was a fun show. I, ex I, I You know what? It's like a Cracker Jack box. You never know what you're going to get with one of my live shows. So, I hope that was helpful. And I will be t tackling everything this week. Wait, wait. We got some more. Yes, we, we yes, so we can do the, le the leather edges and the, what is it, and the distressing of the paper would probably be in the same video. I have a piece of leather here, so we can distress it, we can polish the edge, all sorts of good stuff. Mary Bartel, your countertop, I gotta figure that out. Uh, Mary, was it a granite countertop or marble? I can't remember. I think it was granite. Okay, first of all, Sunni. Okay, so you guys, I am going to be introducing you guys to some more 3M diamond. So I'm g so I'll give you a little sneak peek. Just a little sneak peek. So I have a few. Where is it? I don't know. Okay, so I have some new diamond tubes coming your way. These were things that I've been playing around with. So these are our new. So remember the Flex Diamond family? This one. Remember Flex Diamond? The Flex Diamond. So this is the same family as these. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. So it's the same family as our Extra Coarse Diamond. And we're getting them in tubes. So these are to come. Stay tuned. These are coming your way. And I've got in my possession the extra, extra coarse diamond to grind the mothers down. So these are coming your way, you guys. I'm working with it really hard. I'm working with 3M really hard to get these as fast as possible. So when I'm close to having them in stock, I'll be doing a pre-sale on these so you guys can grab some and grind those agates like they didn't see what was happening, what was coming. Stay tuned, so stay tuned. So you guys want to hear something funny? So I actually tested this on, remember that uh, crystal that that Cindy gave me? Remember that one that I polished? So she gave me a second one. And you guys, I used this, these new diamonds by 3M. They like totally vamped them. And I took it down, you guys, like butter. Look at this one. This was like the worst side. And I took it down like butter. So I was practicing on this because I know how hard this was. So when it's ready, I'll do an official launch and the demo will come. But I love them. Okay, stop that, Ani. Stop it. Okay, so you guys, I'll see you guys here tomorrow. I'll try to be on a little earlier. This is a crazy Monday, you guys. You know, a lot of things happening. And what in my birthday sale is still going on. Uh, they were going to stop it yesterday and they said, no, my birthday is still going on. So birthday still is still alive and well, and that will continue until tomorrow, Yaro? Is that what we have planned? So the birthday sale is still going on, but uh, continue until tomorrow. Yaro says it's my birthday, we should give it till Wednesday. So you guys, if you guys want to get on the deal, and don't forget, you guys, a lot of you guys have gotten the hammer hand keys. Remember we did this on Friday? Those, God, you guys bought a, a lot of those. Those are nice with the anvil tips. That is also um, free shipping um, along with my sale. So you guys, a lot of cool things on sale and free shipping for w over $149 um, if you spend. Um, anyways, just so you know, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And if there's any other questions you guys have, save them for tomorrow and I'll answer them just like I did today. And don't forget, Yara, don't forget. Oh, you guys, okay, you guys need to tell me something. I want to tag you, whatever you guys post on Facebook, I know. I want you guys to know that I share on my Instagram. I want everyone to know. But sometimes I don't know your names on Instagram. So can you guys put your names on your Instagram <laughs> so I can find you? I'm having a really hard time tagging you. I just want to give you guys credit, you know what I mean? And then that, that some people actually will 
click on who this person is and then they'll see your designs too so it's a good networking cross promotion everything you know what i mean so i definitely want to give you guys a shout out out in the instagram world i know it's not the funnest world for you guys but it's slowly creeping slowly so i try to keep a balance between both facebook instagram and the gram anyways you guys i see you guys here tomorrow Thank you so much for watching, and thank you again for all the awesome well wishes over the weekend. I love you so much. I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye, you guys.